A root culvert starts with this mouse trap. Potential energy is stored in the spring, and when the roach lands on this yellow part of the mouse trap, released in the spring, potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, which is transferred to the board, which is then launched this way. It comes in contact with this domino. The momentum from this is transferred to the dominoes and to each sequential domino as it is tipped over until that momentum is transferred to the yellow bucket as that stretch of the yellow bucket, it knocks the marble forward, which upsets the balance that we have in the bucket, which has gravity act upon the marble, letting it roll out of the bucket and roll down the stairs, and what do here? Then the force from the marble rolling down here knocks this little pull up to upset the balance we have here with this marble, and gravity acts upon this marble, making it roll forward and hit the plank. The force from this marble falling propels <laughs> that man, the green man through the air, landing in the bucket. The vibrations from the green man landing in the bucket offset this cage, which then falls down onto our lever. The red cage hits the lever arm, which then causes the lever to pivot off this fulcrum and make this, this part of the lever lift up, tapping the first ruler. The ruler is then tipped over and acts as an inclined plane directing the, the, uh, the acceleration of the marble down to this inclined plane and as that marble accelerates down that inclined plane it hits this green tube. The momentum from that marble is transferred to the green tube, it is knocked over and another marble rolls out. Um, as it rolls through the connects they get wider and wider which allows gravity to act upon it and pull it down through the connects falling into the PVC pipe. The PVC pipe um, directs the motion of the marble, so it goes forward, then because of the curve, the PVC pipe redirects the motion that way. The momentum from the marble is then transferred to the wheel, causing the wheel to fall off the table. The string from the, the string attached to the wheel is attached to the axle on our fan, and when gravity acts upon the wheel as it falls off the table, it pulls the string causing the axle to spin and untwist the rope. Spinning these fan blades, the fan blades suck in air from behind and propel it forward. That air, all those air particles hit this ping pong ball causing it to roll forward. Then the momentum from that ping pong ball is transferred to that domino where it's transferred each subsequent domino until that last domino hits the Hot Wheels car. The Hot Wheels car then is pushed forward and Gravity pulls it downwards towards the track and to where it hits this other lever. When this lever is popped up, it releases this little firing pin which propels this Hot Wheels car forward. The weight and force from the firing pin keeps the keeps the Hot Wheels car going and the motion of the Hot Wheels car is, I guess, greater than the mass of this army man yanking it out of the marble track. Then gravity can act upon these marbles and they roll down the marble track, go under here and fall into the cup. And right now, these two cups are stationary because the weight in them is balanced, but when those marbles fall into this cup, it upsets that balance and the more weight on this side pulls that cup down, the pulleys come into play and gently lift this cup up where it is then hit here. That tips the cup over and gravity acts upon the marble and it falls down and rolls down it hits that marble, the momentum from the marble that fell out of the cup is transferred to that marble and gravity acts upon that again, rolling down here, rolling in here so the momentum is transferred to this weighted wheel um, the weight on top um, comes to play with the rotational inertia because it, uh, rotational inertia from this wheel makes it roll forward and hit another wheel which rolls forward to tap this momentum is transferred to this which spins it knocking that nail, the nail then rolls that way, hits that nail, that way, hits that nail, to go that way, and then hits this nail, which all the momentum and force created by those nails is transferred to this marble, which knocks it off, gravity acts upon it as it falls to the PVC pipe, and its rotational inertia keeps it rolling until it comes in contact with this domino. That This domino then hits that one, which knocks this car with, with the lit candle over where it is stopped in place by this connect piece. And then you will have the string get burnt through 
um, releasing the mousetrap, which converts the potential energy once again stored in this spring into kinetic energy and forcing this board down to the board track. Oh my god. And then starting the whole thing over again. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah.